Hi, and uh, welcome to my little workshop here. Behind me is my drying reel with some uh, baits uh, turning uh, with epoxy coating. And they're all fixed to a, a sort of spike uh, that holds uh, onto the bait. Uh, these spikes are fairly easy to make and in this tutorial I'll show you how I make them. First you need a piece of brown stick uh, and you need a piece of protective tubing. Uh, both are 1.6 uh, centimeter in diameter. I cut first a small piece of wood and then uh, drill a hole in the center of it. Uh, I use a 4 mm drill uh, so it fits the screw that I'm using. The screw is uh, 60 mm long and it's uh, quite good to use a long screw. Uh, it makes it easier later on. Um, to make the two pieces fit best together, good together, I use a small piece of duct tape uh, that I place around the uh, piece of wood. Uh, this way the, the round wood will uh, fit more perfectly or more uh, firmly into the protective tubing. Um, I will glue it together with some resin and the resin is quite thin and will uh, spill if it has the possibility. So you need to be sure that uh, it can't run out uh, anywhere. Um, afterwards I place in a small uh, piece of wood and start mixing my resin. The resin has to be uh, uh, mixed half and half uh, and you need to be sure that you, you hit just the right amount. Uh, after putting them together I stir it for a short while and uh, pour it down into the uh, protective tubing. It sets quite rapidly, so after 30 minutes uh, it's actually done. You have made a small spike and you can uh, insert it into your wooden doer and start painting or applying epoxy, which I am about to do. The epoxy that I'm using is called glass cast and it's a very good epoxy, I'm very satisfied don't get any bubbles or fish eyes or anything. Of course I need to be sure that I um, mix it in uh, the right amount and a very precise amount. So as you can see I'm using syringes that I have uh, glued into the lid. Um, when I get two amounts I mix them together in a small cup and stir it together for half a minute or a minute to make sure that the two parts are, uh, are, are very uh, well mixed um, and then I start applying the epoxy with a brush on uh, my lure. Um, it's very important that you make sure that the whole lure is covered with epoxy. There's no spots where it's not any epoxy because that will really haunt you afterwards. Um, the epoxy is uh, thin and will run um, so to make sure that uh, it covers all the bait. I place it in my drying wheel for eight hours until it sets. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how to make such a bait, bait spike. As you can see, it's extremely simple. So I hope you found it useful.